It's a, a pleasure to introduce and acknowledge the 1978 Cabrillo College Division II State Championship Volleyball Team. Um, a couple of things to keep in, in mind is that when the state had Division I and Division II, it was based on enrollment size. And at that point in history, you had to live in the district to attend that particular community college. So the, the team was made up of probably eight players from Santa Cruz County, three from the San Jose area, but actually had to move to Santa Cruz to go to school and participate. Uh, it was also in the infancy of, of Title IX, and I think that uh, um, everybody in the state hadn't embraced Title IX yet, Cabrillo did, and uh, we were pleased that volleyball was our first female state championship team. Okay, one of the interesting things about uh, community college athletics in the 70s was it was before the age of specialization. You know, now um, athletes play their particular sport year round, and that wasn't the case in the 70s. In fact, almost all of the players on the 78 team uh, participated in the second sport and sometimes the third at Cabrillo. Mimi Bull was uh, um, graduated from Brandon High School, uh, participated in the volleyball team as well as the women's basketball team. Mimi was selected to the uh, all-state tournament team. She also um, was on the all-tournament team in the Northern California Basketball Championships. Uh, Carrie Cavanaugh from Harbor High School ran track, was an accomplished hurdler. Uh, Tracy Ambler played basketball and she was an all-conference pitcher. Uh, Amy Street also played basketball. Mary Lou Kirby graduated from Harbor High School, uh, was our setter. Uh, she was also selected to the all-tournament team at the state tournament. Karen Ambler, before she came to Cabrillo, she played professional softball for the San Jose uh, Sunbirds, which means she couldn't play softball at the community college level so she played tennis instead, and she excelled in, in tennis. Uh, Sonia Henry uh, also played softball at the city league level. Mary Mitchell, a 1977 graduate of Aptos High School, uh, was also selected to the state all-tournament team. Corey Houston was a soccer player before women's soccer was a high school or a community college sport, and so she played on the boys' soccer team at Harbor High School. All of these young ladies were fortunate to have played for Jane Ward. Um, she was a quality Olympic athlete in the sport of volleyball. Uh, she knew volleyball. She knew how to coach. The fact that she was successful at coaching uh, women at the community college level and men at the four-year level you know, attest to, um, to her coaching expertise and her knowledge of the sport of volleyball. So, you know, again, I congratulate this group of young women for their accomplishments on the volleyball court. Um, state championships are difficult to achieve. Um, and I would also like to congratulate them on making it through a year with Jane Ward, who is a great coach, but um, a very hard coach to play for. Uh, Jane coached San Jose State men in the spring and the Cabrillo women in the fall. And I asked her once what the difference was between men and women. And she said, the men don't cry quite as easily. Thank you.